Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to another video on Oracle Apex. Uh, today I thought to discuss about data uploading uh, from Excel or uh, CSV file uh, because data upload is always a challenge in different applications. So today I will try to show you uh, a new feature in uh, Oracle Apex 19.1 onward. Uh, to upload uh, using PL SQL <coughs> uh, to uh, Oracle tables, right? Okay, uh, I will be posting the code over here. If you see here in my portal, erpstuff.com/forums, you will you can come to the Apex Oracle Apex, and you will find this note. I will share the uh, link of this note here. So all code is here. You don't need to type or write. You can uh, take from here. So we will be using Apex underscore data underscore parser package in this uh, session. It is there in 19.1. Okay, let me log into the Apex. I think uh, the Apex I am using, it is uh, version 20 or something like that if I'm not wrong yeah 20 plus 2 right so but you need 19.1 minimum right okay <clears throat> when you install you will have uh, sample data loading I will go into it and then I will show you uh, how it works okay let me run it after login We will go to load data PL. So we will parse files this one. So let me go to this. So here what you have to do, you have to select your file. And by the way, it will it it, it supports XML data, uh, JSON, XLS uh, files, and CSV. Uh, <clears throat> it is providing you around 300 columns. So the column names are like this COL001 up to 300. So you can download columns or a file having maximum 300 columns. Okay, now if I click here just to show you how it works. So let me take one example. This is a CSV file right and I will click upload file over here what it is showing this is the data of the file and down you can see the uh, the code or query used to do this one right so this is my uh, uh, text item where uh, we selected the file we are passing over here so you can see here and here we have maximum rows you can increase or decrease whatever you want and here if you see since uh, you can give a sheet name as well otherwise uh, the first sheet only will be uploaded you cannot select so I will show you how to do that one and second sheet on the same sample uh, application you can see the uh, column discovered columns and their types okay if you see here one more thing I would like to tell you that when it is uploaded it also took this column headings right and column headings it is showing as a uh, line number one right line number one so while moving this data to table, you need to skip this. Just keep this in mind. Otherwise, it will try to uh, insert this one as well. Now this data is still on the screens in the sample application because no table is attached to this application, right? So if you see here, it is still over uh, in the screen itself or in the report, right? Okay, you can click from here if you are a developer. From here, let me show you inside of the application. 
so you can create your own as well it's very straightforward easy thing <clears throat> so first here you have this uh, button upload and then you have this is the file uh, item where you will select this type file browse this is the type okay now if you go down there is no setting over here this, this is help desk okay then you have if you are you have to upload uh, excel file and it has multiple sheets and you have to select which sheet you want to upload then you need this uh, select list right and in this if you see here we have this sql this one right but again uh, you don't need to write it it is there in that note so you can take from there just copy paste okay then we have past data this is what it was showing in our report this is the query for that so this is our parameter which is here this file file name right rest you don't need to worry and here it is that excel file this excel file name if it is a sheet so it will upload specific let's say for example you have three sheets and you want to upload third sheet then you have to select i will show you uh, uh, how you can select so then only it will uh, give you an idea okay now next is discovered columns if you see here in the discovered columns you will have this sql right it is also there you have to copy paste nothing need to be changed okay up to this this is available in the sample application right uh, another thing you can do let's say for example this is excel right now you might be uploading csv file so then you can write one uh, server side condition over here if you see see expression on the server side that if only this show uh, only activate this or show this once your extension is xlsx see here right so this condition will be there okay <clears throat> now let me upload one excel file and we'll try to show you mm, let me try this This has some problem. Maybe file. Okay, uh, we will go to another screen. Let me show you there. Okay, up to this, it is there in the sample application. Now the question is how to insert this data. How to insert? Let me show you past data, which is here. See here. We are just selecting this line number is there. If you want to omit, you can skip it over here okay and then you have these are the columns so in this we have 10 columns you can go up to 300 if you see here like this but a name will be like this col00 number okay if you see here uh, in this you have maximum rows um, add header row right uh, i will show you another code as well uh, in my note how to insert now this because see selection is there now you have to just add on top of it insert into your table name if you go down let me show you over here see insert into this is my table name these are the fields right in which I want to insert and this is the SQL okay in this what I wanted to show you skip rows one so header shouldn't be loaded to your table so this this uh, parameter you have to add over here in this right this is the final insert okay where to insert 
you will go to let me show you in the process and here you have certain validations like uh, uh, allowed um, extensions of the files and here this this code I have added over here this is not actual in this uh, sample application just for a demo purpose I have added over here you can create your own application. So, here I put it that code which you can copy from there and uh, adjust your columns according to your table structure right. So, here in my case this was a date I said, uh, did to date for this and then here I put it skip 1 and this is the field name that we selected when we uh, uploaded the file right. Uh, just let me show you if I have that sample application I was just writing over there. Mm, no, sorry. This is a default uh, the application. So, let us say for example, uh, we are just creating a demo over here. So, you can create like this. Um, let me show you. So, let us say for example, here I, have, here I have to select the file upload right. So, if you see here I got this file this is the data and here is the structure this is just a demo I was just creating for some uh, sample right. So, now if we run this file. Uh, I think this should have been uploaded already. Let me go to the SQL. Let me see if it is there. I have to increase this from 10 to this. So, if you see here my data see here I had changed this one. So, it is got it got uploaded right in my table accordingly. With this this data if you see here my amp number is 1 2 3. So, this got uploaded with that insert statement right which is given here in your process at the end right. Okay, I think uh, the main advantage uh, for this upload uh, you might be thinking. Let us say for example, if you have to give uh, access or a feature to your end users that they they are daily uploading some excel file or some xml or etcetera. So, you can give them a screen that uh, they can upload uh, using this uh, feature and uh, it will directly load to your uh, given table over there without any involvement of technical knowledge or anything right. Uh, Let us say for example, you have some data coming into your Oracle EBS uh, ERP uh, or any other Oracle based applications. So, you can use this technique. Uh, which I really liked it because normally people want to upload from Excel. So, it is quite straightforward and uh, just maybe two clicks and data is uploaded. Um, I think you can try it and uh, share your questions and feedback and uh, visit this uh, link as well where I will give further details of the code and you can try and practice right. Practice makes men perfect. Excellent. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Allah Hafiz.